Hey YouTube, it's Luke. Uh, this video is no means supposed to be funny. It's actually a bit serious. Um, today, on the ride home from school, uh, I saw the video about Ed's passing away, and it it just killed me. I I almost started to cry. Uh, a lot of people have inspired me to make these animations on YouTube. Uh, Lauren Faust, JG Quintel, just to name a few, but the thing I noticed is all their videos and um, animations, they were all on like TV networks and whenever like I'd watch a video on the internet, specifically an animation, it'd usually be a uh, parody of either an old TV show or sitcom or a video game, like nothing with it was good, but nothing was really original, and I kind of leaped into that, started making parodies of Mario, uh, Angry German Kid, and they were good, but they just weren't me. And then, I'd say about a year ago, I stumbled upon one of Ed's World's videos. I believe it was uh, the video Spares, when they all have clones of themselves, and at first, I wasn't sure what this was going to be like. Um, none of the characters seemed familiar. They were all made up. But then I started watching it, and I just I laughed at almost everything. It was just hilarious. It it was just amazing. The creativity Ed had, his potential just to make these funny videos, it just inspired me. And I was like, hey, maybe I can make up my own characters in my own world and my own plot. And potentially be as good as Ed, which would be very hard to meet those expectations because, well, just watch his videos. They're amazing. The animation is fluent. The characters are original. Uh, he's got fresh ideas um, and everything. It's, it's just hilarious. And just to see that he just started off as, you know, just making these little animations and he just expanded on that. And it just got better and better and better. And just the fact that he's been battling cancer, he hasn't really complained about it. That just shows how tough he truly is. And I'm sure everyone will be missing him. I know I certainly will. I believe he's an inspiration to animators everywhere. Not just with Flash, but to that little 14-year-old me who had nothing to work with. But Microsoft Paint and Windows Movie Maker and a couple of cheap sound effects. So, rest in peace, Ed. Uh, you won't be forgotten.